in this forecast. The tropics are heating up quickly as we head into September with two areas to watch, including one in the Caribbean. And severe weather is returning to the northeast tomorrow with damaging winds and isolated tornadoes being possible. Your entire forecast is coming right up. Everybody, welcome back to another max velocity weather forecast and today what we're going over is the tropics we have a pretty big update with two areas of development to watch very closely the tropics are obviously beginning to heat up very quickly we also have an update on the severe weather potential tomorrow in the northeast the latest on what you can expect will be in this forecast let's begin though with the tropics we're going to start from east to west with our first system that is currently coming off of africa this one has the best chance of developing most likely over the long term and i'm talking like a 10 day outlook or so but as of right now it does have a 20 percent chance of development within the next five days you can see the shower and storm activity right now coming off the coast of africa nothing too you know pronounced or organized at this point but it is expected to organize more as a slowly developing system as it moves off to the west we also have another system that is currently going to be entering the caribbean sea here pretty shortly it's going through the windward islands right now here's your little area of shower and storm activity again it's not very organized as of right now but it might be able to organize better as it moves off to the west and west northwest here's your area of development and this will be something to watch for very closely for mexico as well as even the gulf coast this might go in those areas it's just a very unknown as of right now if it will develop and if it does develop where it will go we don't have a very well defined circulation yet with this system but we'll be watching it closely as of right now it does have a 20 percent chance of developing within the next five days all right let's begin with our first system the one that's in the eastern atlantic ocean this is one to watch long term potentially for even the lesser antilles and maybe even the United States. Obviously, there is a lot of time between now and then. But here's a look at the European model. Look at about 100 hours out or so. At the bottom right of your screen is where we have this little low pressure system. It's not overly defined, but that might become maybe like a little tropical depression or maybe a weak tropical storm. Eventually going to mid next week by Wednesday to Thursday and begin to see the European model starts to strengthen this system. So it might be something to watch. And again, it's just a computer model. It's not an official forecast, but it will be something to watch as this does move off to the west. And this will be a system to watch more long term not really a short-term system but more long term because there will be a more favorable environment most likely heading into early september across areas like the caribbean sea our main development region so this might be something to watch but as of right now again we're starting to get to the 250 hour range obviously for those that are aware it's a very dangerous territory it's usually not overly accurate so we're not going to go too far beyond that but it will be a system to watch very closely let's take a look at our second area of development this is the one back near the windward islands moving in the caribbean sea here's a little look at your shower and storm activity heading into later this weekend into early next week so timestamps at the top left of your screen eventually going to early next week and start to see maybe a little low pressure system attempting to develop the only issue is it's going to be running most likely into the yucatan peninsula there has been some changes to the track and due to the fact we have a high pressure system off to the north a coal front moving to the south it should be able to keep the system away from the gulf coast for now eventually though maybe going to late next week the gfs model begins to show maybe another system attempting to develop and that one might be something to watch but it is difficult to forecast due to the nature we usually need some sort of circulation and once we get that circulation it's much easier to forecast systems like this but since there's no given circulation yet with this system that's forecasted it is difficult to develop and also we're running into that 200 hour range so it starts to get even more difficult to forecast at this point but obviously gfs models bring that into the gulf of mexico attempting to branch to some sort of hurricane again i'm not forecasting that as of right now by any means but we'll have to watch that system very closely as it moves off to the west Lastly, let's hop into that severe weather potential for tomorrow. There is a slight risk of severe weather back up into areas like New England and as well as eastern New York. You can kind of clearly see here the slight risk does include areas like Albany, Burlington, even up to Berlin, New Hampshire, Laconia, Manchester, just west of Boston as well. There is a marginal threat outside of that that goes into portions of Maine, goes as far south as areas like New Jersey and as well as northeastern Pennsylvania. Main concerns tomorrow will be a damaging wind concern, and it's all due to this area back out here to the west, back up into areas like canada as well as even michigan and also the potential for an isolated briefer week tornado or two that's gonna be my main concerns for tomorrow Let's hop into that timing, beginning with areas in the southern New England region. Beginning with 8 to 9 o'clock, we'll actually begin to see some strong to potentially severe storms back out to the west of New England and areas like I mentioned before, southeastern and eastern New York, potentially northeastern Pennsylvania. Eventually heading closer to around lunchtime, that line will begin to move into New England and it will eventually start to strengthen most likely a little bit more, so it might produce more of a damaging wind component as it heads into areas like Massachusetts, Connecticut, and maybe even Rhode Island. By about 3 to 4 o'clock, that 
that line will start to kind of collapse as it gets closer to the coastline but those down in connecticut definitely have a better chance for some severe storms around that time frame by six to seven o'clock maybe some storms behind that kind of a secondary area of storms that may be able to develop and eventually by about eight to nine o'clock storms moving into areas like the new york uh long island area as well as even going through southern new england still eventually going after midnight or so those storms will start to clear out and by the way boston massachusetts currently on pace for the driest summer of all time so that's something to kind of keep in mind but there might be a little bit of rain tomorrow so here's a look at the timing back up in northern new england going into friday you can start to see some showers and storms we'll have a couple of areas to watch one back up in maine another pronounced area back in areas like eastern new hampshire as well as into southern maine eventually by four to five o'clock storms moving through areas like central maine into northern maine a lot more rain most likely in extreme northern maine but if you're in like central areas you might see some storm activity eventually going closer to about eight to nine o'clock some storms still may be behind that but overall severe weather will most likely be most prominent during the afternoon hours all right make sure to subscribe button down below like the video if you've not already this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting and all dense repair